My focus today is on making a search box. It's both separate and not separate. I mean, a separate project and not a separate project. I would say it's a component of a project. Uh, for example, if you have a business and you want to make an app for that, you would need uh, a search box. Or uh, if you if you want to make, let's say, a dictionary app, you would need to have a search box. Here I'm on Xcode, and uh, it is a, s a single view application. In fact, I'll, I'll click next and we'll give it a name uh, search mechanism or search tool let me put t uh, we can give any name actually and next and create here we have uh, the familiar components, <laughs> indeed, app delegate .swift and the other ones, and main .storyboard. I'll I'll go to main storyboard, and we'll delete the default view. Uh, okay. Next, I will go to uh, the object library, and we'll add this on the, on the right side uh, a table view controller control and drag yeah, we have the table view controller now we'll go here to editor and scroll down well, no, not scrolling down, just going to embed in a navigation controller. Okay. And we'll click the navigation controller and check is initial view controller. I mean, your app needs to have a starting point and this arrow uh, indicates that this uh, section is going to be the beginning of the app. My next step will be to add two files. One for the table view that I just added and the other for cell, for the cell. I will go to file, new, and file again. Okay, Coca Touch class. Next, and uh, we'll give it table uh, view controller. Well, uh, this table view controller, my table view controller is a subclass of UI UI table view controller yes next and create well you can see it here on the left side a table table view controller dot swift next we will need to create a file for cells 2 okay I'll go to file new file again and here I will give it a table cell controller a name and this is a subclass of UI table view cell. Let me delay this. And next. 
Yes. So I have this file too. Uh, table saw, saw controller and table view controller, these two. Back to main storyboard. Uh, I'll need to go to my table view and to this inspector, um, identity inspector, and we'll have to uh, this one to make sure that my table view is included here is here table view controller yes also i will have to do it for the cell and yes okay also while i'm here i will need to go to attributes inspector and we'll need to make sure that uh, I will I will have a reuse identifier well here I will write cell so this will be the identifier I will use it later okay now we need to add two objects one will be a search box and the other one will be a label so let's go to the object library scroll down I and mean, it's not a long list at least here on my computer and uh, you, you could put it you could write type it in the search box but i will go down <coughs> yeah it's here search bar and we'll uh, drag it here yeah so my search bar is here and look the attribute editor uh, inspector here and we could style it uh, I think everything is at least for this project is fine here so let's just keep it as uh, default and uh, uh, we will need to add this to our uh, code too I will click the assistant editor here and here will in related items will look for my table view file this table view controller dot swift and uh, now I will s I will click search bar here yeah and UI search bar and we'll give it search bar connect the outlet this this outlet is on table view controller let's close this window and yes uh, the other object that we will need to add is a label so uh, the label is here you would just need to drag a label here yeah this would have to be on uh, the cell file so the label back to assist to the assistant editor and related items and table so controller dot swift yeah and uh, control hmm. yes control track let's give it a name label 
this name, label one, and connect this new outlet is on uh, table cell controller. Yeah, now we need to go to uh, table view controller dot swift and do our coding. So here we have uh, the outlet, I mean the UI search bar and uh, also uh, let me delete these so I need to make declarations uh, and uh, like I was thinking about making a search bar for dictionary so my model will here be like a dictionary and it would look like a dictionary so uh, I would put my uh, variables to conform with the structure of a dictionary so this is also used for initialization and for loading data in fact I would put search word yeah, is here you have the search word here this would be uh, the equal sign uh, words and I have words here just one section and here for number of rows in section this search word count we do need to copy and paste this function too because this will determine uh, what our cell will look like uh, copy and so let me put, put it here yeah so my identifier is cell okay and uh, we will need to configure the, our cell or what uh, our cell is like the question is what is what is a cell mm -hmm. how we want the cell to be uh, and our cell is cell what is the cell uh, it's la label one you remember that search word uh, also this is at the index path dot row Okay, uh, I just did work uh, on the uh, search bar, search bar function, which is a kind of, uh, which will allow for filtering specific items, and uh, it 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 would return uh, a range uh, within which uh, those specific items will fall. And this case instance, there, this would indicate that mm, it doesn't matter whether uh, you mm, type lower case or uh, upper case the range uh, would be applied to all uh, mm, items uh, regardless of whether they are uh, typed in lower case or upper case uh, and I, I also added two uh, more functions for the um, cancelling of uh, the search bar and we would need would enhance your uh, search box in fact let's uh, let's run the application to see if it's working uh, 
Uh, well, let's tap on the search bar. Yeah, well, let's uh, type A, for example. Well, no, it's not working. The application is not working. There has to be a problem. Let's uh, uh, go back and check. Um, I think these are correct. Yeah, I think I found it. Uh, we would need to uh, add here uh, search uh, UI search controller. Uh, delegate actually this is programming through delegation and uh, you are so for delegate, yeah, we need that and also we need but well, before this uh, control the delegate this is this is what I was looking for and putting a comma here let's check I think now everything looks fine okay let's run uh, the application okay let's uh, write something in it a uh, well no it's obviously not working <laughs> well F mm, yeah well let's go back to check everything once again yeah, the words, search words. Uh, okay, we probably need to add something in the in, in the view did load, and that would to uh, initialize uh, the something related to the delegate like. Uh, search search bar I mean this search bar uh, dot delegate equal sign self well we have this already here but well let's let's try it now well try it now uh, build and okay yes a oh yeah it's not working you see uh when you type uh, let's let's type f yeah it gives you the range uh, feline and flora uh, okay if you if you uh, type D that yeah, gives you uh, that uh, <laughs> yeah it's just door uh, let's cancel it and uh, may write something or well, flora I'll just give you that uh let me put uh, v uh, for example yes bovine uh okay this way we have uh all of uh, the specific words that we want to filter uh if i put f it gives you that well you 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 would need to work on it i mean to uh, style it or uh, kind of customize uh, the search bar and uh, also other uh, components of your app in, in fact i mean this and this is based on uh, uh, creating data and uh, also uh, having functions for filtering Thank you very much for watching my tutorial about making a search box. Goodbye.